A piece of art has just been smuggled out of Papua New Guinea and into Australia. The artist, 25-year-old Al Mogarima, saw the painting targeted and damaged in his studio in Paga Hill. From Port Moresby, he tells us what happened. I quickly came back home, ran up to the bunker, and I saw everything just being destroyed. All my paintings were cut, uh, paints were being thrown, uh, spilled, um, brushes broken. Basically, um, I just came up with this initiative to uh, uh, do a live painting and a flash mob. It uh, represents like me and the community um, uh, protecting our land area. The land area is Paga Hill, where his community lived until they were forcefully evicted to make room for a tourist and business development in 2014. The documentary The Opposition shows the community struggle. Leader in exile Joe Moses, currently in Sydney, gives us the background. There was a demolition that took place back home. Uh, the seafront was not part of the land that the company had a title to. And, uh, they came into our land unlawfully and dis destroyed all our houses unlawfully. Holly Pfeiffer is the director of the documentary The Opposition and knows the artists through working with the film. Alan is a part of the Parker Hill Art Resistance, which was a group that formed out of Parker Hill. And it was so that they could fight, not with guns and not with their fists, but they could fight back with art. So Alan's painting is actually featured in the Opposition documentary. He goes into the middle of Port Moresby, the main roundabout in town, and him with the Parker Hill Art Resistance paints the painting and, and we were able to document it. And it's a terrific piece. Gallery owner and art consultant Justin Kalman at Pier Mark Sydney says that the significance of art is often related to the history it is a part of. When you're looking at artwork and, and that has that fundamental basis, in a specific event happening um, that is important to a culture at a time um, and, and it's expressing that, it absolutely does elevate the, the importance of the work itself. This is good news for Alan who hopes to auction his artwork in Australia to raise money for his community.